Hi everyone, Brian Davis and welcome to Brian Davis Scuba. My last episode of the GoPro and Paralens journey was on five reasons to buy the Paralens Vaquita. We went through and kind of, I suppose you'd call it a reaction video to the um, emails Paralens had sent out giving their five reasons, so I gave my five reasons. In this video, I'm gonna give you five reasons not to buy the Paralens Vaquita. <laughs> And reason number one is if you're a happy GoPro user. If you use GoPro or Osmo, I've not seen so many people using the Osmo underwater, but if you're a GoPro user and you're happy with the footage you're getting and the way it works, and GoPro do have an excellent app, don't change because you're gonna get stressed. The Vaquita, there are still some teething problems, mainly around the app, I feel, but you're gonna say to yourself, why have I spent all this money when I was already happy? So reason number two, if you're long sighted, I use reading glasses and you don't want to buy a prescription mask or you don't own a prescription mask to get the Fakita. Um, it's got a great little um, oleod green, it really is good. Sometimes I can, if I'm doing a far shot, I can put the camera out and I can just about see it because I'm, I'm waiting for my prescription mask. But if I, if I want to do close up and we'll talk about that in a minute, I can't see if I'm in focus or not. So yeah, if you're not willing to get a prescription mask, cause they cost nearly as much as as the camera or mine did anyway, don't buy Vaquita. Reason number three, if you like liverboard hardcore diving, I'm talking about when you go, you do between three and five dives a day. Typically they're up to an hour. You saw in, in the battery test video, you're not, it hasn't got the, the three and a half hours battery life they claim, not yet anyway, it may come. And as soon as it does come, I'll be testing it and letting you know. But um, just look at my um, video on the, on the battery life test, it's in the, there's a link in the description below you can go to that you're going to get frustrated because you're going to have to come out of the water pull the end cap off and charge it every time and when you're doing that all the time you increase the risk of getting a damage in the o-ring or doing something wrong and then getting water ingress so i wouldn't really go for it if you're a committed liverboard diver so that's that one reason number four if you want to do close-up and i'm talking about these sort of sort of images and the fakita hasn't got it. I'm not talking about macro, I'm talking about if you've got a, a scorpion fish, a stonefish, a lionfish that you want to frame and get um, nicely photographed. The Paralens can't do it. Other action cams you can, particularly with the GoPro and also you can get flip type systems with close-up lenses which if you're not correctly in focus, you just put the, flip the lens over. My go-to lens for that is, is the Polar Pro and that works really well for me and I do have a backscatter macro mate which is also very good if I want to get I wouldn't say macro images but you know I can get nudibranchs and stuff nicely in the frame. And finally fifth reason for not buying a Paralens Fakida is if you want an app that provides a seamless easy experience the app isn't there yet as i keep saying in all my videos i'm sure they will get there i'm absolutely sure i'm in contact with paralens the lady i'm dealing with adriana also said you know she's experienced difficulties i'm sure they're working like fury on it i really believe that because i think deep down paralens quite a, a good company i don't think they've got enough experience in actually using the camera in a recreational diving situation as a normal user. I think they've relied on these 200 testers in 33 countries who are probably all diving big shots and haven't used people like me. Anyway, those are my five reasons for not buying the Fakita. Tomorrow, tomorrow's video will be five improvements I would like Paralens to make to the Fakita to make it an exceptional underwater camera and experience. My name's Brian Davis, thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. Um, give me a like if you think it was okay. And tune in tomorrow.